losing their mind. An emergency room doctor offers insight into what the drug ecstasy can do. Did it play a role in the deaths of a Treasure Coast couple? Good evening, I'm Kelly Dunn. And I'm Jim Sacker. Thank you for joining us. Many on the Treasure Coast are asking tonight, how could this happen? 17-year-old Tyler Hadley remains on suicide watch at the St. Lucie County Jail, accused of murdering his parents with a hammer. A key witness says Hadley was high on the drug ecstasy at the time. News Times Dan Corcoran is in Port St. Lucie with a closer look at Hadley's possible state of mind. I really don't see any motive besides drugs. Mike Mandel is still trying to cope. He says he'll never forget what he saw in Tyler Hadley's Port St. Lucie home Saturday night. His best friend's parents dead. And Mike says his best friend Tyler admitted to getting high, then beating Mary Jo and Blake Hadley to death with a hammer. He was on ecstasy. Three tablets of ecstasy, said Mandel. Medical experts say that's enough E to make someone feel like they're, quote, losing their mind. They initially ascend this stairway to heaven and end up descending into hell. Dr. Scott McFarland oversees emergency rooms at Palm Beach Gardens Medical Center and elsewhere and says that much E drastically increases serotonin levels in the brain. Agitated, confused, they're sweating, they have fevers, they can have seizures. Mandel told investigators about Tyler's demeanor, and police noted it, too, in their report, writing, Tyler appeared nervous, frantic, and very talkative while speaking to the officers. He also appeared to have a blank stare, and his pupils were very large. They have dilated pupils, they have flushed skin, they may become, they're constantly in motion because it gives you this sense you have to move. Dr. McFarland says taking E can cause hallucinations and creates a lack of inhibition in some people, which he says can lead to potentially dangerous decisions. You have no control over your sensorium and uh, you're a danger to yourself and others. Police reports mirrored that possibility, stating that the defendant told Mike Mandel that he was intending to kill himself by taking 10 Percocet pills when law enforcement officers eventually came to his residence. That report from News Channel 5's Dan Corker. Tonight, Hadley is on suicide watch 